welcome to online lecture series in organic chemistry now in this video i am going to start new chapter that is electronic spectra of complexes now first of all origin of electronic spectra what is the meaning of electronic spectra now we all know that transition metal complexes shows wide range of colors and there are several transition metal ions they form the colored complexes for example cobalt 2 plus in aqueous medium it can form hexaco cobalt 2 octahedral complex whereas the same metal ion it forms the tetrahedral that is tetrachloro cobalt 2 ion cobaltate 2 so same ion that is cobalt 2 ion it can form octahedral and tetrahedral complex in octahedral state its color is pink whereas this tetrahedral complex has blue color so same metal ion when forms the octahedral complex it shows pink color whereas when it forms tetrahedral complex it shows blue color consider the another example when nickel second ion when nickel second when it forms the complex with water that is hexaco nickel 2 then this octahedral complex it is green color whereas when this nickel 2 in aqueous state when it forms the complex with amine that is hexamine nickel 2 the same ion form the two different colored complexes its aqua complex is green whereas its amino complex is blue so the color of the complex associated with the absorption of electromagnetic radiation in visible region and the color of complex it is related to the energy gap energy gap between the two levels that is t2g and eg level so you know there are 5d orbitals in metal ion and these 5d orbitals split into two levels that is t2g level and eg level and this energy gap it depends upon geometry of the complex whether complex is octahedral tetrahedral or square planar at the same time it depends upon number and nature of ligands how many ligands are there for example in octahedral complex there are six ligands in tetrahedral complex there are four ligands in square planar complex there are four ligands and nature of ligands whether com whether ligands are weak or strong weak field or strong field ligands so this energy gap it is decided by these many parameters geometry of complex number and nature of ligands and therefore electronic spectra of complexes it can provide a valuable information about the bonding and structure of the complexes because there is a direct correlation between bonding and structure with the color as well as energy gap now what is electronic spectra oh, you know electrons absorb a definite amount of energy and gets promoted from one energy level to another energy level and such a electronic transition it is responsible for electronic spectra you know after splitting there is a formation of two energy levels of after splitting of d orbitals two energy levels are formed lower level is t2g and higher energy level is eg when there is a excitation of electron from t2g level to eg level during this transition or excitation of electron there is a absorption of certain portion of electromagnetic radiation and which is responsible for the electronic spectra so the electronic spectra or electronic spectrum of solution it is it is because of excitation of electron from lower energy level to higher energy level now another important thing is the electronic spectrum of the solution it is determined by using spectrophotometer which is based on the one important principle that is beer lambert's law it 
it is based on the principle of beer lambert's law and according to beer lambert's law when a beam of monochromatic light of intensity i0 when it is passed through solution then solution of complex then part of light is absorbed by that particular complex or solution and rest of the light it is emitted so when a beam of monochromatic light of intensity i0 it is passed through solution the part of light is absorbed by the solution and rest part is emitted and therefore the intensity of emitted light gets reduced say for example it is i and therefore according to beer lambert's law a is equal to log i0 upon i where a is absorbance i0 intensity of the incident light and i it is the or it it is the intensity of transmitted light or emitted light now according to beer lambert's law the molar extension coefficient that is epsilon it is equal to a upon cl where a is absorbance c is concentration of solution and l is path length and absorption maximum that is lambda max and molar extension coefficient that is epsilon at this wavelength uh, these are the characteristic of given coordination compound and once we know the value of molar extension coefficient and lambda max then it is very uh, easy to find out or identify the nature of coordination complex now next point is the types of electronic transitions now there are three types of electronic transitions which are identified by their molar extension values and peak position so on the basis of molar extension coefficient values and peak positions there are three types of electronic transitions namely intrametal transitions also called as dd transitions or ligand field spectra another type is charge transfer transitions or charge transfer spectra uh, charge transfer transitions it can be ligand to metal type of transition also or it is represented as lmct ligand to metal charge transfer spectra or it can be metal to ligand charge transfer spe spectra represented by mlct and third type of transition is intra ligand transitions so these are the three important transitions let us we discuss one by one the first type is intra metal transitions or dd transitions or ligand field spectra now here the transitions that occur between the splitted d levels of the central atom these are called as dd transitions it means when there is excitation of electron from the t2g level to eg level or vice versa then this type of transition it is called as dd transition and these transitions occur in the range 100 nanometer to 300 nanometer that is in ir uv uv and visible or uv visible region now molar extension coefficient values associated with these transitions it is equal to 10 raised to 2 decimeter cube per mole per centimeter and the dd transitions are responsible for different colors in transition metal complexes and the absorption spectra due to dd transition it is very weak as an example consider the hexa aqua titanium 3 ion it's it has a purple color you know in this complex oxidation state of titanium is plus 3 and its configuration is d1 and at titanium there are 5d orbitals dxy dyz dzx dx square minus y square and dz square orbitals and there is a splitting of these 5d orbitals into two levels t2g and eg so there is one electron initially it was in 3d orbital which are degenerate and after splitting this electron lies in t2g level which has the lower energy now after absorption of certain portion of the re electromagnetic radiation 
this electron gets excited from T2G level to EG level. This is called as DD transition and now electron is residing in EG level for some fraction of second. So this type of transition, it is DD transition and this purple color of hexaco titanium 3 ion, it is because of DD transition. And this is about the DD transition or ligand field spectra. It is also called as intrametal transition. There is an excitation of electron within the d orbitals of a given metal ion. Now, second type is charge transfer transitions or charge transfer spectra. The charge transfer transitions involve promotion of electron from ligand orbital to metal orbital or vice versa. The molar extension coefficient values for these transitions are 10 raise to 2 to 10 raise to 4 and these transitions that is charge transfer transitions are more intense than DD transitions. As I said there are two types of charge transfer transitions or charge transfer spectra that is ligand to metal charge transfer spectra that is LMCT and MLCT that is metal to ligand charge transfer spectra. So first of all what is LMCT transitions that is ligand to metal charge transfer transitions. Now the transitions of electrons from molecular orbitals present at ligand to the molecular orbitals especially non-bonding or anti-bonding molecular orbitals available at metal ion these are called as LMCT transitions and the complexes of ions metal ions containing higher oxidation states for example manganese plus 7 and chromium plus 6 these metal ions of high oxidation state shows LMCT transitions and these transitions involve the reduction of the metal ion central metal ion by the ligands where ligands act as a reducing agents and examples of LMCT transitions are the manganate ion MnO4 where uh, this ion shows purple color then mercury sulfide it is red color and cadmium sulfide it is yellow color their electronic configurations you can see MnO4 in MnO4 minus electronic configuration of manganese is D0 so DD transition is not possible there because D electron is not there even in mercuric sulfide and cadmium sulfide electronic configuration of Hg2 plus and Cd2 plus it is D10 and therefore DD transition is not there even though these complexes or these metal compounds these are colored and this is because of ligand to metal charge transfer spectra. Now another type is metal to ligand charge transfer spectra that is MLCT. Now here the transitions of electrons that occur from molecular orbitals especially non-bonding or anti-bonding of metal atom to the anti-bonding molecular orbitals of ligand. This is called as metal to ligand charge transfer, transfer transitions. Now the complexes with lower oxidation state metal ion for example ferrous and cobalt 2 plus shows MLCG transitions and here these transitions mainly involve reduction of ligand by the central metal. There is a reduction of uh, the reduction of ligand by the central metal ion. Now examples of these types of transitions are MLCT transitions are the metal complexes of 2 2 dash or 2 prime bipyridine 110 phenanthrolene and I already told you charge transfer bands are much more intense than the DD transitions and last factor is intra ligand transitions the transitions of electron from one ligand orbital to another ligand orbital these are called as intra ligand transitions these transitions occur in UV region epsilon value is greater than 10 raise to 4 and summary of this point is intra ligand transitions are more intense as compared to charge transfer spectra which are more intense than DD transitions and this can be explained on the basis of their molar extension coefficient values for intraligand transition it is 10 raise to 4, for charge transfer spectra it is 10 raise to 2 to 10 raise to 4 and for DD transition it is 10 raise to 2.